This video will give you some additional practice on those all important break even calculation type questions. Understanding how to undertake break even calculations is a key element on most business courses. Here is the formula you need to know in order to answer the break even calculation type questions. You can pause the video and jot these down. Contribution per unit is selling price minus variable cost per unit. Total contribution, revenue minus total variable cost per unit. Or total contribution is contribution per unit times the number of units sold. The margin of safety, sales minus break even level of output. The break even point, fixed cost divided by contribution per unit and the profit, total contribution minus fixed cost. Many students find break-even calculations quite tricky. However, once you know the formula and you practice them, then they'll become a lot easier. So it's great that you're here and ready to practice. The first few calculations in this video, video are fairly straightforward. However, the last one is slightly tricky, so do stay on to the end. If you found the video useful, then please do like, share and subscribe. It helps me know you found it useful and it helps YouTube know that they should push it out to others who may also find it useful too. And if you'd like a break-even calculation video with more challenging questions, then do let me know in the comments. So grab a pen and paper and let's make a start. Our first question, and we're required to calculate the contribution. Contribution looks at the profit made on each individual product. So Priya sells t-shirts at £20 each. The variable cost per t-shirt is £15. Calculate the contribution if she sells 80 t-shirts per week. And the formula for contribution per unit is selling price minus variable cost per unit. So let's have a look. Contribution per t-shirt, 20 pounds minus 15 pounds. So the contribution is five pounds. Another contribution question. A corner shop sells tins of soup for 70p each. Variable costs are 40p per tin. One month, the corner shop sells 2000 tins of soup. Calculate the contribution per unit. Let's have a look. Contribution per tin of soup, 70p minus 40p. Contribution equals 30p. Now for this question, we're looking at the total contribution. So that's contribution per unit times by the number of units sold. A corner shop sells tins of soup for 70p each. Variable costs are 40p per tin. One month, the corner shop sells 2000 tins of soup Calculate the total contribution. 30p times by 2000, and that's the 2000 tins of soup that was sold in that month, and that equals to 600 pounds. Total contribution equals 600 pounds. Amy makes handmade jewelry. Her fixed costs are 280 pounds per month, and variable costs last month were two pounds. The selling price per piece of jewelry is 10 pounds, and she sold 40 pieces of jewellery last month. Calculate the break even level of sales for Amy. So you can pause the video and give this question a go. Now we need to input the information into the formula. So we know that the fixed costs are £280. And for the contribution per unit, that's the selling price, which is £10, minus the variable cost, £2. That equates to £8. So that's 280 divided by 8. And that gives us the break-even level of sales for Amy of 35 units. Adam sells iPhone cases. Adam wants to know the number of phone cases that he needs to sell in order to break even. The fixed costs are £3,250, variable cost £3.75, selling price £20. Calculate the number of phone cases Adam needs to sell in order to break even. So you can pause the video and give this question a go. So, we know that the fixed costs are £3,250 and the contribution is going to be £20 minus £3.75. So that means it's £3,250 divided by £16.25 and, and that gives us an answer of 200. 200 phone cases is what Adam needs to sell. Next, the business sells products at £12 per item. Variable costs are £7. Last month, the business sold 600 products. The fixed costs last month were £2,000. Calculate the break-even level of sales for last month. Here we go. So we know in order to calculate the, con the contribution per unit, which we need for the break-even sales, it is selling price minus variable costs. 
Selling price in this instance is £12 and the variable costs are £7. £12 minus £7. That gives us contribution per unit of £5. Then we input the data into the, the formula. So we know that the fixed costs are £2,000 and contribution per unit is £5. And that gives us an answer of 400 units. Did you get it right? Now on to a more challenging question, but we like a challenge, don't we? Using the data in extract B, calculate the margin of safety you are advised to show your work in. So the margin of safety is the amount that sales can fall before the break-even point is reached and before the business makes any profit. Let's work through this question. We need to calculate the margin of safety. So we've got the formulas up there, break-even point and margin of safety. Let's work through it. First of all, let's calculate the contribution. Here it says that the selling price is £5 per unit and the variable costs are £2 per unit. That gives us £3. Next, we need to calculate the break-even level of output. And in order to do that, we need the fixed costs, which it says annual fixed costs are £3 million. And we know what the contribution per unit is, £3. That's 3 divided by 3. That equates to 1 million units. Next, we need to calculate the margin of safety. So we need sales and we need to deduct the break-even level of output. So the sales, it says the number of units sold, 1.5 million. And we know what the break-even level of output is. That's 1 million units. So it's 1.5 million minus 1 million. And that equates to 500,000 units. Did you get the answer right? Thank you for watching this video. The next two videos that will appear on the screen are what YouTube thinks you should watch next.